Hi guys, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about grid assembly. It's quite a long tutorial today because there's lots to get through, so make sure you check down in the description for the chapter markers, I'll leave them down there, you can pick out what's most relevant to you. This is a really amazing plugin that's going to save you loads of time when you're building out these grid templates, videos with virtual choirs, lots of musicians. The way this plugin differs from your usual grid templates is it doesn't use drop zones. And this is because drop zones make it really, really difficult to get things perfectly in time and in sync with each other. When we're talking about synchronizing video, we're talking about a matter of frames making the difference between a video that looks great and in sync and a video that looks terrible and out of sync. The music doesn't match the movement, just looks really unprofessional. This is going to help you do that, make those micro adjustments. So once you've downloaded your pack from FCPX for Access, this is what it's going to look like inside. We've got four PDFs and one folder. The first PDF is a step-by-step -step guide on how to simply create a four grid lattice. So make sure you check that out. To install this plugin, all we're going to want to do is copy this folder using Command C. We're going to go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Templates, and then it's going to go into our Effects. So we paste that here using Command V, and that's it, installed. So let's open up Final Cut Pro. So once we're in Final Cut, you're going to find these in your effects browser, it's bottom right down here, and then in Grid Assembly. Let's start by building a four grid. So a way I like to edit these kind of videos is I always like to create blank space underneath so it fills up the magnetic timeline. So in order to do this, it's really simple. What you need to do is grab a clip, drop it into the timeline, and then hit Shift Backspace. You can see how that creates a blank space. And I just extend that out so that it fills up my project. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop four clips on top of that blank space. One thing that's important to understand is that this effect works best with 16 by 9 clips. Anything else you're going to be spending a little bit of time making some adjustments, but with 16 by 9 it's all just going to be drag and drop, it's going to work perfectly. Now that I've got my four clips on top of each other, if you were making some sort of virtual choir video, at this point you'd make, want to make sure that everything is synced up and looking good, making sure you've got your audio in sync, everyone's singing in the same time, everything's looking great. Great, so I've just tidied up my timeline a little bit, it looks very neat now, we've got our four clips sat on top of each other. So now it's very simple, we're going to head over to our grid assembly and we're just going to pick the four grid option. So you see we've got four grid one, four grid two, four grid three, and four grid four. Essentially all this is, the first part, four grid, it tells us that it's going to be a grid made of four images. The next number, the one, two, three, four, is the position on the grid. So four grid one is the top left, four grid two is the top right, four grid three, bottom left, and four grid four is bottom right. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab four grid one and I'm going to apply it to the bottom one, or whichever one you want to be in the top left, four grid two, I'm going to apply it to the next one, four grid three to the next one and 4 grid 4 to the top one. And there we have it, that's a grid. Straight away, nice and easy, really quick, drag and drop. One thing you're going to notice when you're creating a video which has multiple layers, it is going to be more process heavy on your computer. Things could be a bit slower than you're used to, rendering times will take longer because it's rendering out four clips instead of just one. So now we can look at that, and yeah, it's looking great. We've got our four clips playing, they're looking awesome. And the process is really just the same for anything else. We have a three grid option, a two grid option, a six grid option, and we also have our zero grids. So our zero grid, these are hero images. So if I pick one more clip that I'd like to use, let's use this snowboarder. Keeping in mind to choose a 16 by nine clip just makes it nice and simple for us. And then I'm gonna pick one of these zero grid options. You can see how these tend to have an animated intro Yeah, so I'll pick Zero Grid Hero 4. So let's pop them on there. So now if we play that, you can see that this opens up above the grid. That looks great. Of course, in here too, we have some adjustable parameters. So if we head up to the top right, click on our three slider icon, it's gonna open up our, in our inspector. We head to the film reel here on the left, and we can see we've got our adjustable options here. So we can move our content around. So in this preset, we can change our content scale we can also change our border color. Maybe I want to have a black border. I can change the border widths. And yeah, that's looking great. We can change whatever we want, basically. So you can imagine if we were editing a virtual choir, we could have a singer in the top left, a guitarist on the right hand side, a drummer in the bottom left, maybe in the middle in this pop-up, we'd have the main, the lead singer, they'd come up and they'd start singing. 
So now I'm going to run through with you how we could transition to the next section. So I'm quickly going to build out our six grid vertical. So I do that by picking six clips from the browser. Great. I'm just going to tidy that up so they're all the same length. And now all I do is I simply just methodically, I apply six grid vertical one to the bottom one, six grid vertical two to the next one, six grid vertical three, and so on. So here you can see we've got our six grid layout. It looks a bit weird, these are all random clips, but you get the idea. So let's see how we could transition now between these. There's a really simple way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our first section that we put together, and I'm gonna hit option G. I'm going to click OK. All this does is create a compound clip. It basically puts all of those clips into one clip that we can work with. What I could also do, going back to these five clips, I can select them all, I can right click, and I can click New Compound Clip, and click OK. So there you can see we've got everything in one clip instead of the four clips. This can do a lot to make your timeline look neater, feel better to work in, but it also means that we can add a transition to all of these files at one time. So if I go over to my transition folder on the right hand side by clicking these two triangles, and I type in in the search bar something like push, looks good. So let's grab push here, and we're gonna drag it onto the clip. We'll delete the first one. And you can see now if we play this, they all transition out of screen. So what we could do now is we just drag these over our next section here, and let's have a look. And so yeah, you can see it this transition seamlessly into the next scene. Who knows what we'd have here, maybe five singers, six singers. But maybe you're thinking to yourself, hang on, I wanna make something with 12 singers. Okay, no problem, we can do that too. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna select these clips here. We're gonna click option G and create our compound clip. So those are all in one clip. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our six grid again. So I'll just do that with a bunch of random clips. So then I apply my six grids again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna create a compound clip. Let's just get rid of this for now. Okay, great. So now all I have to do to start building bigger grids is just change the scale of these compound clips. So if I change it to 50%, I change this one to 50%, and I reposition them. Okay, awesome. So now we've taken up half the screen. So we could do this, we could replicate this again twice, and that would give us an amazing array of six grids. Or we could use one side of our two grid. For example, two grid one here is gonna take up our right hand side. So if I pick one more clip, and I apply the one grid. So that's awesome, now we have 12 grids and our one main hero shot on the right hand side. So maybe you'd have your band on the left hand side, you'd have your main singer on the right hand side. We can also use things like our hero grid to accentuate other things that pop in. Maybe a sound comes out of somewhere. So let's pop in a zero grid, get one of our hero shots. I'm just gonna have this guy come in and out really quickly. That's great, let's have a look at that. Awesome, so we got to highlight something there really quickly, or if we wanted to have it there longer, we can have it there longer, we just extend the clips out. So that looks great, I can then use something like my Zero Grid Hero 2 to change this right hand side image. So let's, let's give an example of that, I'll drag this winding road shot on the top and I'll put Zero Grid Hero 2 on. So what this is going to do is this is going to transition perfectly to our main character on the right hand side with a simple push in. It's a very simple effect that looks great. I'm going to turn off the push out so that we can stay on it. Great, and it pushes in. Perfect. Great, so we could have multiple singers coming in featuring multiple things on the right hand side. Another great transition we have is Zero Grid Hero 7, and this basically takes a full screen image and allows us to transition something else in the meantime. So, let's give an example of this, how we would do this. Let's grab this nice island shot. Yeah. And you can see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this over and I'm gonna use this as a transition layer. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add Zero Grid Hero 7. I'm gonna pop it on there. Let's have a look at how that looks.
Great. So there we've taken up the whole screen to transition into our next thing. And all we've done here, we've not used any transitions, we're just using layers with an animation over them. So if you want to have something transition into something else, you have it under the clip above and then it will transition into the next one. And you can get really, really creative with this. You can build grids however you like in whatever shape you like. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one last thing. So you can see here I've built a 24 grid using our six grid preset. So there's four six grid presets here, all in their compound clips. And remember we do that by clicking option G. Now the problem here is that we've not got our white borders to separate this. So all I'm going to do is select our four compound clips and I'm going to turn them into one larger compound clip. So I do that by clicking option G. Again, the same as before. Click OK. So you can see now all of our compound clips are now in one master compound clip. So all we do now is we head to the bottom here and you're going to see empty grid as an option. So we just drag empty grid onto there and that's great. We've got our borders back separating these two things. The borders are a little bit wider because we've had to change the scale. So all I'm going to do is just go into the adjustments here and I'm going to play with the border width. Maybe I want to change the colour of those, I'll make those black. So that's amazing, now we've got a 24 grid lattice and everything will be perfectly in sync because we were able to edit this without drop zones. And you can see this actually plays back smoothly, we're playing 24 clips here. And it looks great. Okay guys, that wraps up today's tutorial. I hope that was helpful. I know there's a lot to get your head around here, but once you start working with it and you understand the two grid, the three grid, the four grid, and the six grid, then it's more than easy. Use your zero grids as your hero shots if you want to show something off in the middle of the page. And you can transition very simply by using compound clips and turning everything into a big clip that you can then edit and use transitions on. So hopefully this is a big help to you guys. Make sure to leave us a thumbs up, stay creative, and we'll see you in the next one.